Uh, the life and times of Mama Yunis Kipto Soti. Uh, Mama Yunis Kipto Soti was born in the year 1952 at Kapkelelwa in Baringo County. She was daughter of the late Jeruot Kipkoros, popularly known as Morio, and the late Sogome Jeruot Kopchekoech of Kapkelelwa. She was sister to Tapsirge of Kaparsoiwa, Thomas Jeruot, popularly known as Location, John Jeruot, Arab Chelimo, the late Samuel Jeruot, known as Sacho here in Flats, the late Sabina of Kap Lobin, and Anne Jeruot of Kap Mose. It's Kap Mose, I'm correcting. Um, she was in law to Parsoyo, Carbon Kandi, Shakwe Kandi, Chris Chirchir, Katharina Chirchir, Mary Changwon, Joseph Rudi, the late Francis Komen, the late Tabtue Kigen, Lillian Tablilei Kibuali, Alice Nebur, and Mary Kimoituk. Hand to David Chirkir, Joseph Candie, Nicholas Candie, Nora Changwon, Hannes Changwon, Sandra Chirchir, and many others. Just to mention but a few. Uh, in the education, in terms of education, Mama Yunis began her education at Moscow Primary in the year 1963, where she completed a whole level, whole level then. And after the, after the education, she tended her family animals until when she was married. Uh, shortly after her marriage, she became a nursery school teacher in Kapso. Kapso is in Gerio Valley. Between 1970 and 1971, and thereafter, she handed over to Alpina, Alpina Barboy as the family moved to the highlands to a place called Kabugan. Um, family life. Mama Eunice Kipto got married to Richard Kipto in the year 1969 at Cap Now, Kenene Village. She was a co wife to Jane Kipto, our mom. They were blessed with children, namely Robert, our fresh farm, Ruth of Kiebo Primary. There is Elkana who is doing business in Eldred. Uh, John. Everett, Paul is in Nairobi, uh, Pius works at Cla Cyber in Flax called Classic, Catherine, a teacher of Tega, Lillian, who teaches Kaiboy Technical, Sheila, who is based in Lodua, as a teacher also, Obadia, who does uh, phone repairs at Flax, there is Valerie, who has a boutique, Classic boutique, there is Marcy, who does business in Hellred. Ezekiel, who does business at Classcom Flux. Sharon, who works at Front, Frontex Investment. June, who does business also in Flux. And uh, 
Emmanuel, who also has a paper shop in Flats. There is Mildred also, who is at the moment teaching at Flats Primary School. She was mother-in-law to Nelly, Koech, John Angetich, Joyce Kiptanui, Yvonne Koske, Sylvia Kibruta, Karen Kibiwat, Willie Kiblagat, our former MCA, Kilbert Rob, the late Tobias Kibrono, Beatrice Koge, John Meto, Robinson Kiblagat, Cynthia Mutai, the late Carlos Kimutai, Anthony Kigen, Christine Kigen, and Frederick Kipchumba. She was grandmother to Manu, Manuel, uh, Brian, there is Jerob, who is missing there, Robu, uh, Victor, Kim Ngetich, Kim, Kolo, Michelle, Chumba, Kibrono, Nolan, Rono, Nicole, Roby, Shab Janice, Himani, Jero, Roni, Talia, Cheryl, Jemu, Jaffe, that's Javed, um, Joy, Chemnetit, Nava, Liz, Gift, Given, Sebis, Jeru, Niola, Bright, Regan, Berur, Dilani, Jabali, Banis, Neilan, Caleb, Kemboy, Ranon, Shavin, Raquel, Tivanich, Jeje, Rina, Jeptor, Lincoln, Bella, Kipla, Kibet, Joshua, and Ron. I'm going to continue. Christian and social life. Mama Eunice was a member of Mkwen AIC Flats. Her Christian life be began when, way back when she was a nursery school at Capso. She became a Sunday school teacher under guidance and leadership of the late missionary Mrs. Armstrong from Australia in 1970 and she continued until 1972 when the family moved to Highlands, Kabugan. In Kabugan, she taught her two nursery and Sunday school from 1973 until when new teacher was posted. She continued teaching Sunday school until 1978 when again the family moved to Flats. In Flats, she continued with her Christian life and was baptized in 1976 at AIC Chekungan. She actively continued with Sunday school, teaching at AIC Kapungetik before founding Mosop Sunday School at home. In church, she attained a lot of certificates in Christian education, TEE, and later trained as a CWF teacher in the year 2000. When she attained her knowledge in mentorship and guiding and counseling, she participated in various church activities and leadership in various capacities. She was an intercessor and role model to many. Social economically, she engaged herself as a professional tailor, dealing mostly with school uniform in her work. Her explanatory skills were recognizable and she was appointed to deliver uniforms to Christian Education Department. That is CHF, CWF, Cadets, Star Battalion, and Sunday Schools. Health. She enjoyed a, a good health until Wednesday, 13th March, 2024, in the evening when, after she arrived home from her walk, she carried out her usual evening calls, but suddenly collapsed as she was preparing supper for the family. She was immediately rushed to Savannah's hospital flats where she was resuscitated and given the medical attention required at the time. She was then transferred to Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, Eldoret, where she was attended to, to father. Upon stabilization, she was admitted to MTRA Amenity Wing. In the following morning, Thursday, 14th March, 20 can and chest x-ray were done as she continued deteriorated and succumbed. Okay, on behalf of Richard, I'm going to read the husband's eulogy. Tribute, sorry. Nothing can replace the void you've left. 
You've been so caring and loving to me. To me, I still see you enter the sitting room from the kitchen and softly ask if I, if I can give you something to eat. You've been so caring and loved my children equally and every time checked on them. You have left a vacuum in me that cannot be filled. A prayer warrior you are, educator and a counselor. You are a conflict resolver and insisted on peace every time. You made me smile even during difficult situations. Whenever I traveled, you called severally to check on me. You are a good-hearted and hospitable person. You loved our grandchildren so much that every holiday we could meet in one of our children's home just to get just for a get together. Our grandchildren would sing and dance for us, and the smile on your face made them tickle even more. I remember just the other day when our children visited us and we had fun and danced together with much laughter and little did we did I know that it would be our last moment together. Rest in peace, my dear wife. I will read the tribute from co-wife. I look back over our life together with nothing but joy and happiness. We have lived in harmony and always helped each other take care of our family. We played various complementary roles in the interest of our family. You are kind, loving, and compassionate. I will love and miss you. Rest in peace, my best friend. Okay, I'm going to read the son's tribute. We love you, Mom. We are trying to we are trying hard to accept that you are gone. You taught us to be men, to respect ourselves and other people around us. You disciplined and endeared to us Christianity for our from our infancy and followed it up to our adulthood. Whenever we were home, you always ensured we sing hymns in the evening, prepared for church on Sundays. You encouraged us to love God and establish our families in good Christian foundation. You encouraged us to use our gifts and talent to serve others. We miss you, Mom. We shall remember you by singing you by singing a song you love in the church. I thank the Vision Choir who had just sung this song that goes like uh, the, in the stance of Kipawa, Kipawa ulichopewa na mungu. Ukitumia viema wala usiringe nacho. Ujue ni mungu aliekubariki nacho. Kitumia, kitumia katika kazi ya buwana. Thank you. I will read the tributes from the nieces and the nephews. Auntie, so you may no longer walk beside us, your spirit continues to shine bright in, bright in our hearts. Your laughter, your love, and your unwaving kindness leave an indelible mark on all who are blessed to know you. Though we mourn the loss of your physical presence, we take solace in the countless memories we shared and the love that bind us together. Rest in peace, Auntie. In loving memory of our dear grandmother, 
though you have departed, your presence continues to linger in the depths of our souls, reminding us of the pro profound impact you have made on our lives. Your life was a testament to the power of kindness, generosity, and compassion, and your legacy lives on, on in the lives you touched. We cherish the moments we visited you on holidays and when you also visited us. You attended our graduations, birthdays, visiting days, and other family gatherings. We shall miss your presence until we meet again. We will cherish the memories we shared, honor the lessons you taught us, and carry your love always as a treasure gift from heaven above. Rest in peace, dear <laughs> On behalf of the daughters, Mom, it is unbelievable that you are no more. It is really sad that you passed on just after making a visit to you on 9th of March 2024, and you went to the Lord on 14th March. You are a mentor and a teacher, and that is why most of us are teachers. You taught us hard work, humility, patience, generosity, integrity, and all Christian values. You really kept checking on us, especially on our health. You kept on calling us even three times per day. You encouraged us when we were down and gave us advice on how to deal with situations, especially in our families and in our marriage. You mended our uniform, especially the clothes for our children who are your grandchildren. The love to our kids, to our kids were evident, and we don't know how they will cope without you, Mommy. Mom, we will not forget to say thank you for the struggle to educate us, even using the small earning from your tailor shop. You visited us in our homes, especially during our yearly celebrations. Thank you, Mommy, and goodbye until we meet again. Shine your way, hero of faith. Okay, I'm reading tributes from the sons-in-law. Mama, you will always remain in our hearts for your invaluable guidance and support. Our families received teachable lessons from you. You called and treated us as your sons. We learned a lot from you. Our families are well grounded in strong Christian values. You are our friend and a guide. We take comfort that you lived a fulfilled life. Rest in eternal peace, Mama. Thank you. Our mother was a Proverbs 31 woman. That's what the Bible says. Anything that the Bible says in Proverbs 31, she was one. She taught us, and we are praying hard that we can stand in the gap. You are the mother we received the day we married our sons. You gave us grand, gracious men, a prayerful woman you are, full of wisdom and guidance, and we will forever cherish. By example, you showed us hard work, discipline, generosity, and kindness. Your Christian values, humility, and simplicity were one of its kind. You fulfilled the virtues of a noble woman. You loved your grandchildren and treasured them all. You have left a void. Naenda kusoma baadhi ya maneno yaliyo katika Proverbs 31. Ulifanya kazi yako ya mikono kwa moyo wote. Ukofanana merikebu za biashara, ukatuletea chakula chetu kutoka mbali. Ulivikwa nguvu na heshima, ukaweza kucheka bila kuwa na hofu kwa siku zijazo. Ulizungumza kwa hekima na mafundisho ya kuaminika yalikuwa ki, kinywani mwako. 
Sisi wanao tasimama leo na kukuisha heri. Our hero, you are and will always be. Mama Yesu asifiwe. Mimi ni nasimama kwa niyama ya ama sisters in laws. Ningependa tu kuwabia jamii yetu ya kwamba. Sisi ambao tuli walewa hapa. Tutasimama pamoja na njini. Nataka niyamie baba na mama. Tutakuwa pamoja na njini. Tutafanya kasi pamoja. Ile upenda ambayo mama alituonyesha. Tutafanya bidi. Tukiomba mungu ya kwamba. Tutasidi kuendelesha hata saidi ya hapo. Kwa my sister in laws. Nyumbani. Bado itabaki kuwa nyumbani. Tutafanya bidi. Ile mkikuja nyumbani. Mutakuwa munafurai kama bile mama alifio kuwa. Kwa sababu mama alitupenda sisi huote. Pia alitufundisha na tunamshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya maisha ambayo alitupea tukai na mama tangu tulipo hode kama hali yaba. Alitufundisha maneno mengi na tunamshukuru mungu. Hasa mimi ninamshukuru mungu kwa sababu niletangulia haka nifundisha maneno mengi. Na juzi yeye alipo ugua ugunjwa ya migu sasa nikakua kama bodyguard wake. Nikienda kupima na wake wa ushirika wa tukai. Turesha, nilienda na yeye. Kumolwa, nilienda peke yangu. So, ninawaidi ya kwamba. Kazi ambayo mama alikuwa kifanya ya ufundi. Wale ambao waliwacha mangua zake, mangua zao katika duka ya mama. Muta nipata, alafu muta nionyesha. Najua vile mama alikuwa nafanya kazi. So, uta nipata, uta niambia na mungu ataweza kutubariki. Tutaendelesha kazi ya mama. Vile mungu wangu alisema, hiyo duka haitafungwa kazi ya mama itaweza kuendelea. Sisi zote tumeshikana tukijua kwamba kazi hiyo ambayo mama alifanya ni vile tulivyo sasa tumesimama hivi ni kwa sababu ya kazi hiyo ambayo alifanya kwa bidii. So ninasema tu Mungu atupatie ngufu tuweze kufanya kazi hiyo, tuweze kushikana kwa sababu Mungu ni mwaminifu katika kila hali. Alituacha tukiwa kwa mstuko na mshangai. Lakini kwa sasa Mungu ametupatia nguvu Mubarikiwe. Sante. I want to read appreciation na mashukrani zetu. Our sincere appreciation to Safari's Hospital, Flux Dispensary, and Chepkodio Hospital for their immediate medical response. We also extend our appreciation to Nancy, Dr. Keitany, Dr. Langat of MTRH. Special appreciation to Patrick of Flux Dispensary, Ambulance Driver. Finally, we appreciate friends, family, church, and neighbors far and wide, Flux, Eldred, Nairobi, just to mention a few, for their assistance at this difficult moment. May God bless you all. Thank you. I'm going to explain it all. I'm going to explain it all. I'm going to explain it all. Eh, tunashukuru Mungu kwa nyinyi nyote especially ya kwanza kwenye tulisaidiana kile mama alianguka mpaka tukafika flak eh, mpaka tukafika eh, MTRH tuliona eh, nyinyi kabisa na tunasema asante madaktari wote waliohusika tunasema asante pia tunasema special thanks tukiwa familia kwa sababu ya hii safari kile mama alilala tuliwaona mkitufariji kila siku mulitupikia simu tukiwa watoto wa familia hii. Na pia kwa ukubwa kabisa tunasema asante kwa maumbi ambao wachungaji walituambea. Washirika wa kila pahali walikuwa kitupikia simu na kutuambia kwa amba tuko pamoja na, na nyinyi Na pia siku kubwa ambao ilikuwa siku ya Wednesday ilikuwa siku ya kukaramia hii shere. Tuliona mkono waku wenyu wa ajabu mpaka tukasema kwa amba. Asante, asante, there is nothing that can repay that. Hata sisi tulipata kupatwa na hata furaha kuona hii kazi ya mama. Kazi ya mama ilifanyika kwa njia yenye imekua nzuri kabisa. Hakuna kitu ilienda pepaya. So tunasema asante. So mungu wa bariki, mukienda sinu sote, tunamombea baraka za mungu, na tuendele tukai hipi, tukiwa naipa uti ya flat, na sehemu sote sehemu watoto wetu wanaishi. So mbarikiwe.
I don't know if Dr. Keitan is around. Dr. Keitan. Kama yuko. Mingine waneza shanga. What could have caused the death of mom? I can call Dr. Nancy. Kindly. And I can see more. So, wakati mama alikuwa mgonjwa, Sharon na nipigia simu. Nilikuwa nimetoka tukazi kana vya kimbia na nasi mama angu mgonjwa sana. Nika mwambia kama ni mgonjwa sana, anzi inu hospitali yaka nipi. Waka nipa tumetoka, I think flux. Waka kuja tukwa kutana na hospitali. Tulikuwa tunafikiri kwanza ni hata taka. So, tukafanya the first investigations as emergency people which was okay. But kumbe, unajua moyo, nishida ya moyo. Kuna amali naitua aota. Naitua aota. Kwa hile nye nateleka damu, izunguke kwa mwili. So, kuna kitu naitua aneurism. Inapata weakness kidogo. Iyo ndio the cause. Tunasema kuleni sana. Hata mi nilishituka sana. Sina hata nguvu ya kusimama hapa. Nilishituka sana. Sababu nikitoka saa sita. Kwa dimitiwa. Mtotango kago njeka. By the time nilafika mbani. Nika rudi hospitali tena. Nika leto mtoto. Nilitoka kitu saa tatu mchana. Simu yangu ikazimika. Waki nitafuta kumba mama amizidiwa. Nilikuwa mteja. Kupigia mama kwa je. Kanyambia. Tuba. Nilishituka sana. Nilipata hata simu. Nilishtuka, lakini kuhuleni sana kwa hii yote, tuko na ushuhuda kuwa hui mama mifanya kazi. Kwa uona tu shire yake ya leo. Na siku hiyo tukio hospitali, ilikuwa ushuhuda. There were so many people. So many people. Kwa nani ambia Nancy, ambia watu wako waende inje. Wako wengi sana. But kwa yote tunashukuru. Kwa yote ni... E, tunawachia mungu. Na wako kwa watoto yake uwote. Uleni sana. Hata mini likuwa affected sana. Uleni sana. Asante. So that is a medical condition which started long time ago. It was not a incident that started that very day. Ilianza kitamo. Na kama ingejulikana mapema upaswaji ingefanyika akiwa bado ni mchanga. Lakini kwa sababu ugonjwa huwa una signs Atungeweza kutambua. But may her soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Okay, so let me conclude by a vote of thanks. Kushukuru kwa sababu ya kazi ya mbawi mefanyika. We thank God the Father that we've come. Tunasema asante. Na I know there are so many groups. Kuna watu wengi sana wan may play so many different roles. But let me start by thanking God. Tunashukuru mungu. As we see, the way things are going, it's not about man. It's not about what we are able to do. It's all about God. So tunashukuru mungu. Tunampasifa mungu kwa sababu ya yote amewezesha. The other thing, tunataka kushukuru kanisa. Kanisa wameweza kusimama na sisi. Tangu hili nyanga nilipotokea Tunashukuru sana kanisa zote Starting from Mkwen Kwenda Chekorio Kwenda makanisa ambazo sisi watoto wa hii Familia tunaudumu Tumepata support from all the Makanisa From the people who are talking It can be a testimony that All our Churches are up where we are Fellowshipping They were able to come and to console with us so thank you so much. Tunashukuru sana. We want to thank the family and the extended family. Family away to water from wherever they are.
they've been with us wengi walitoka mahali waliko they've been camping with us wamekuwa na sisi all through we found it uh, easy we found it uh, the burden much bearable because of uh, all the people that uh, family wetu ambao wamekuja kukuwa na sisi wale wako hapa flux wale wako same sa keyo and many other places we thank you we want to thank you also the neighbors the neighbors have been great to us they've done a lot any every work that you see here kazi zote ambazo unaziona it they were done and by the neighbors wao ndo wali design kwamba kila kitu itapangwa kuli kulingana vile hivyo ilivyofanywa so thank you very much neighbors we have neighbors who are huku we have neighbors those of uh, where our uh, sisters and brothers are na they have been very crucial they've really helped us and uh, tunasema asante we want also to to appreciate more also the hospitals that uh, wali to idea when this thing happened uh, my brother in law had read the appreciation and had acknowledged but probably maybe we didn't touch everybody we know there are so many people that played different roles na tunasema asante want to pray that God will richly bless you. We want to thank the administration and the leadership of this place. Tunashukuru MCA, Kimeli and the team. They've been able to do some good work. They brought the crater kuja kutengenezea barabara and to be able to work on a number of things. So we want to pass our appreciation to the MCA for uh, the grading of the road. Also during the time of Arambe they were here and uh, the group that were here they were good in mobilizing for the resources for the for this function so we want to say thank you uh, again we, we appreciate everybody we want to say thank you everybody that you've been able to come here you've been able to come and console with us thank you so much tunashukuru sana and uh, you've helped us heal and to come out of the morning session so we thank you so much uh, there are many service providers wale walipatia hema wale walifanya decoration wale wanatengeneza chakula kule kitchen wale walifanya mambo za usafi na kuendeleza program the MCs the pastors tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya the, the role that you are able to do we are grateful for the work that you've been able to do so we thank god for all the service providers some of to mention but view baba kim there is shangai kule kitchen jamaluk and many others i won't be able to thank everyone the committee that also were here the committees that were in various other places we want to thank you you are able you are able to play a big role to bring this thing to the way it is there are many other groups that i may not have been able to mention or acknowledge kindly receive our petition to kisema asante we want to pray that may god really bless you you made the burden easy for us so may god bless you and be appreciate appreciated thank you basi kwa sababu imefika nafasi ya mwisho hata msipoketi safari inaanza sasa na nataka ni nimuulize assistant bishop akuja ninapokea ma appreciations yangu tatu ya kwanza nataka ni washukuru na shukuru askofu kwa kukubali kuja in fact nilimweleza kwa kwa haraka na akakubali na akaandika the same day so askofu asante kwa kukubali kuja ya pili ningependa ni shukuru waheshimiwa leo wao kwa haraka waheshimiwa wengi wanakuja ni kama wame, wana alia mali iko na, na siafu wanaongea moja they leave but thank you because mumeka na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nini nataka pia nishukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya sisi wote vile tumetia sikuona movements nyingi mumeka vizuri mumeketi mpaka sasa nataka yeme asante sana hatukupata masumbufu nyingi tulipata tu watu wawili ambao walitusumbua kidogo lakini nafikiri tuli arrest hawa iko polisi yetu ya kanisa CHF wakaweza kutusaidia na nafikiri utulifu ikakuja Otherwise may God bless you may God be with you mnaposafiri tusafiri salama wala kwa tutafika kule kaburini pia tuweze kwa pamoja 
katika kazi hiyo. So mtapatia assistant bishop wakati ambapo wachungaji wanakuja hapa mbele the families utaijarej vile tulifanya asubuhi ili tuweze kuendelea kwa kaburini. Thank you. Kwa hivyo nitaomba tutulie venye tuko ili tuweze kwenda mbele za Mungu kwa maombi. Na tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunashukuru. Tulikuomba tulipoanza kwamba Mungu aanze na sisi utupe kibali na uwezo ili tuweze kumaliza ibada hii ya masishi ya mtumishi wako Yunus Kipto. Na Mungu asante kwa sababu umeweza kusimama na sisi. Tumeweza kuona mkono wako ulio kuu. Umeweza kutupea nguvu kustamhili pengo hili. Natasama ni na wakati ambao nataka tusingize mwili. Nyenye nao kasema Mungu wa majeshi udongo utarudi kwa udongo. Utubariki pamoja. Nasama wengi watasafiri mbali na karibu. We want to pray for safety and mercies in Jesus' name. Some will travel far, some will travel near. We want to pray for your guidance wherever they are going to travel. The means they are going to use, may you sanctify and bless with the blood of Jesus. That Father Lord, they may reach to the history assembly for the glory and of your name. Katika tizemu hii tunapu enalea. Upako wako na uwezo wako kwa pamoja na sisi. Kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Katika jina wezi tumuwana kwa mini. Tunaomba ushirika tafadhali kucheni. Ushirika tafadhali kucheni hapa. Ushirika ya. Ushirika kucheni mbele hapa tufanya wa last. Ushirika kucheni mpanya the last. Alavu ball bearers tafadhali pia kucheni hapa. Okay, tunaambiwa kwamba pale ambapo tunaenda ni ni squeezed kwa hivyo tu tunaomba watu wachache ushirika wazee na tu jamii ndio tutaenda pale sisi tutawaachiliwa kwa uhuru kwa hivyo
tutafalishwa taji ya kazi tuliyotenda tukiwa kwa mwili huu. Huyu mpenzi amelinda imani, amekamilisha mwendo. Na kama Ayubu alivyosema tulitoka nyutumboni mwa baba mama yetu tukiwa uji na tutarudi kule vile vile. Hata katika matukio mbalimbali mbali ya maisha alisema Mungu ajira la Mungu. Nataka kulaza mwili huu hapa kwa imani kwa sababu Biblia inaongea juu ya kiama cha wafu. Anasema heri wafu katika Bwana tangu sasa kwa sababu matendo yao yapotana na wao. Na huyu ni mmoja ambaye tunapanda kwa unyonge tukarajia ushindi wakati wa kiama cha wafu. Sisi tulio hai tutushike mkono tutuinue simama wima kwa sababu ya ushuhuda hiyo hai ndio kadutiwa na mwenda zake kwa jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen ndio tarakuja pole pole tunapoimba asi yangu kisha Oh, wow. 
Kaki Sultan, apa yang ni mie? Aku kisah jauh, bagi lebih berur. Tiada nukit tulak tuik, cuma sokapa. Murata, yang murata tam, jarang kagong asis. Kaki Sultan, 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 kaki Basi sasa tutaanza kuweka maua na kuwa la kwanza ambayo tutaweka ni foam over cross ambayo wachungaji ambao wako hapa tabaraji mwukuje pale wachungaji kasi bisho na kujeto kujia hapa kushikisa wacha mii ni kuwe msi yenu kujinu kuweka ama niwe kujeto mwaja sorry 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 wacha mii ni mchungaji yake aya asante sana aya ya pili ni ya dad and mom Abaya ni ya form of a row. Here ya love. Ya love is dad and mom. Ile ya row. Baba na mama. Ya mkulel da. Ya ni ya love. Ya mkulel. Wabi ya ima. Ya nata ni ya jepu. Ya mkwati. 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 Kita kira mungkin dah salah kerja. Kalau begitu, kita 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 Sans, vijana, wanaume wa mkogu. Sans, hiko ni aro tena. Ya sans, hiko ni aro ingine. Hiko roo ya sans. Mweke baade ya hiyo. Nagopi, chaita nyo mige mchangai. Kwa kumazi, mwende ni kumazi. Kwa kumazi, ni pijai. Mwende uko, kwa zaabu ya picha. Shikeni wote pamoja kwanza Shikeni wote pamoja kwanza Wanamto kulikira Ngacha kidogo Ngacha kidogo Baca kita orang, maka begini ni waktu aku je. Ayah. Ayah, anda ni. Ada punya jawab la. Ayah, apa moja? Ayah. Asante. Asante. Aya kuna wanda mbwa kwata ni inlos Wanaeka moja kama ring Inlos Sans inlos Wamehalika tu inlos Daughter inlos na sans inlos Aya daughter inlos and sans inlos Aya daughter inlos Daughter inlos Daughter inlos Aya kwata mbwa zaeka hapa Wake up a bit, lady. You don't have to allow one day you space in your living with this color. Oh, my old lady, younger. A little in your way. What you go to Kwanza? I have a guy who comes along. You are all the same color. Asante sana alafu Kuna sema Sans Sans in law Gwajeni kidogo Gwajeni kidogo Kwa wengine Kisiarakishe Kwa wengine Kwa wengine Ini masih di atas. Ini, ini, ini. 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 Ini,
Bajomba, no, mamá, mamá, ya no se tuvo, no, 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 Mamá, ya por picha y va a chique cuanta. Ahora, ve, casada. Segunda na bigalak. Mengine, Kitunas, a Kuanamakumbusha, Tuna, Alamu, 